If you're in your 20s, don't date anyone older than 30. 35 year olds were dating this? Like, gross. I feel like, I really, I don't care about that. I personally feel bad rejecting people on the spot. You're clearly so insecure, bruh. Okay, you're weird. Happy Pride Month. Like, what? I don't blame her for hitting me, but they don't want to leave each other. These so-called third world countries are developing. Need a guy who will respect us, love us, and find value in marriage. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get all my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. What's your mind? You weird. Um, anyway, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I really, I don't care about that. What don't I'm put saying? your hands on me. Don't touch me. Put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. So. Yes, yeah, popped a balloon, but why did you think it was okay to smack his hand? He was placing something in your hand, and you smacked his hand. Why would you do that? This here proves equal rights, equal lefts. You smacked him, he's letting you know, don't touch me. He's ready to put the beats on you, I'm happy he didn't. It's a good thing she pulled back. My man was, was ready to get it in, but hey, you learned your lesson. Don't ever hit a man. Within the first month of us talking, he didn't give me a single compliment on my abs. And like, it was- Hold on, hold on. <laughs> she cut a guy off because he didn't compliment her on her abs? She's, this gotta be a joke. Guys, look to see if she's joking. Let's, let's look at this. So much more deep than like, you didn't compliment my abs. like. It was like, you're clearly so insecure, bruh. Oh, How serious. are you gonna sit here and not say a word about my literal six pack? Not even just that, she like, show it no off right compliments now. in general. She's trying to do. And it's so funny because insecure men, insecure boys will do that when they pull a bat and then they're just confused how they pulled the baddie. So they're like, hmm. The delusions. Let me make sure she's insecure as hell. So I'm never gonna give her a compliment and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna drag her down to my level. It's seriously so embarrassing and they make it so obvious they're insecure with themselves when they do that. Like, how are you gonna have a baddie and you don't even like give her a single comment throughout the day? Okay, you're weird. Happy Pride Month. Like what? Like the way Happy this Pride person Month? made- So because he didn't compliment you, you say Happy Pride Month? Person made me question myself i was like am i ugly am i like not that like what's going on because the no compliments like every day of my life i was just like wow crazy i swear i don't love the drama it loves me Sickening. for people who are watching this who are in their 20s what advice would you give to them about dating older Ooh, i would say don't do it till your prefrontal cortex is baked um i would say if you're in your 20s don't date anyone older than 30. And I think like just older, the older you get, the more you can kind of see someone's red flags. In my early 20s, I dated a lot of older people and I don't think it served me. I think I think th there was something wrong with them to be attracted to to me. Tell me more about that. How? Well, I also looked like a baby. Like I look quite young naturally and I see photos of myself at 1920 and I was like, 35 year olds were dating this? Like gross. Even sometimes I wonder like, why aren't women their age dating them, you know? No. No. Why are women not the, are they, their age not dating them? They don't want those women. Women don't understand. Most guys don't have kids. Even older guys. They don't have them. But a lot of guys that have kids are having more kids. But guys are hitting that age and not having kids. So they want something younger. Also, they find something younger more attractive. Also, something younger is not as tainted. So is it a little off? Some Yes, but no, not really. Because men want to find something desirable. When a, guy, when a woman sees an older guy, she sees him as desirable, but not you. Of course, if you're 60 years old and you're 20, I get it. I get it. But if you're 30 and you're thinking that way, something's wrong with you. 
no. Like I and I know why with the fifty and sixty year old, but like there is something to be said for like mm, women their age don't want these these people, and there's a reason for that is because they are mentally very very immature. And so I would warn young 20s from staying away from older men, especially if they say like, oh, you're so mature for your age and you're this and you're that. I'm like, no, babe, you're you're immature for your age. No, you, you got it wrong. You got it wrong. Right. Exactly what I said. That's the reason why. And that's why men said you're mature. They thought you were mature. But the way you're talking now, if anybody said that to her and you've seen that. I think all men should look at TikTok to see the wild thing these women these women are saying. Go to TikTok, type in women saying the stupid things about their men. Just type t- type that in and see what you find. Or type in something else. Woman had an abortion because the baby wasn't his. Right? She, she didn't believe the baby was his. Type that in. You, you, the video's going to pop up. Type in the most craziest things. You'll see some woman embarrassing themselves on TikTok. TikTok is the best, because that's where everybody's videos come from, and that's why you're getting all this content. TikTok. TikTok indeed. I actually get guys coming up to me quite often on the street, but I have told my girlfriends that there's kind of like a rule, so it's always the weird ones to come up and talk. Mm-hmm. Most of the time I give them my number, but I know from right off the bat that I'm interested, and then I- Hold up, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's always the weird guys. This is what she said, that come up and talk to you on the street. She actually has guys talking to her on the street, and she calls those guys weird. And then you have so many women complaining, why are guys not talking to me? She called them weird. Doesn't matter even if they were a little bit weird. Guys talk to you. Why is guys not talking to me on the street? Where do all the good men go? I just let things kind of fizzle out. At some point, they get the memo. I personally feel bad rejecting people on the spot. You personally feel bad rejecting people on the spot. Just say no. No is no. If a guy wants to keep pressing, then say I'm going to call a cop. Then you have the right for that, right? You're getting pressed. Be happy. I'm not saying like, oh, you're being pressed. Be happy and don't complain. But hey, you shouldn't be complaining. Because what you said just now sounds like a complaint. Or you may, a guy may be interviewing you, but men are talking to you. Give them a shot. Because you know what's going to happen, right? The same woman, when her sexual market value goes from here to Shangye, she's going to say, where did all the good men go? Where did all the good men go? Oh, they left. Because you called them all weird. Okay, ladies, we, like, really, really, really need to talk. We, like, low-key, high-key need to talk. I even wrote, like, notes on my phone because I'm, like, so rattled. Okay, I just finished watching, like, maybe five TikToks, like, back to back to back, of women from Toronto, UK, US, late 20s, early 30s, white, black, North African, like, the whole gamut, right? And these are all dating stories and they were all terrible, like very, very bad. And I'm like, what is happening? And I've come to the conclusion that it's just this simple. You guys are giving these men that you don't know far too many chances, like far too many chances for men that you don't know, for men that are negging you, for men that are not being nice to you, for men that are disrespecting you. Far too many chances. She's telling women like they're not gonna like they're gonna stop. <laughs> These guys getting so many chances because they want them. Because they're not nice. Right? The nagging thing is something different. But if you're in love, that's something different too. Now, if you're talking like this, you don't know these people. You didn't hear from the guy side. Right? So she's judging this from a bunch of women's stories. Didn't hear what any any guy had to say. The guy could mess around and say, hey, you know, I'm with her, but she actually loves me too, and she does the same thing to me. Oh, sometimes she calls nagging me. Oh, there's always two sides to a story, but she is giving her observation off of these TikToks without her hearing the other side. Like now on the internet, you hear men explain the other side 
Because women never explain it all. Da, 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 da. That's it. And if a man is a seven, oh yeah, baby. You, I love you more. I love you more than that. This couple right here. This is abuse. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she might have did it physically, but I did it verbally. And yes, we both want to get help. They were they were fighting on live. I can't find any clips of it, and I'm not gonna really look for any clips of it. But they were just fighting on live, and it had got physical. And one on the left touching one on the right because the one on the right was having a slick mouth or whatever. So now she's like defending it and saying, "Oh, well, y'all know how slick my mouth can get, so I don't blame her for hitting me." but they don't want to leave each other then this other couple girl i don't know what's going on but all the lesbians fighting right now like chill man make it to december pajama face so i remember seeing things like that in real life in, in, in person real live action right but now it's happening so much more women and that woman looks like she played for the other team before it came from a man who probably Held his restraints against her, and then got with a woman that whoops that ass, whoops that ass, like you needed all that time, and you left your man for it for that. Philippines is your third world country. So this brother here, this passport bro here, is in the Philippines. They call it a third world country. I'm in the Philippines. I know how beautiful it is. I know how. It looks so much better, even compared to a lot of top states. Like, a lot of places, a lot of areas in the Philippines is competing with New York. L.A. Actually, better than L.A. Now, let me, let me get into this. Philippines is a third world country. The Philippines is your third world country. I hear this almost every day, and I'm getting sick and tired of it. The only time you'll hear somebody say that is some American living in their mom's basement and most likely never left the U.S., never left their home state, alone their hometown. And it's like, yeah, Sachi, the Philippines Paragamo, has yeah. some rough areas. Look around in the West, bro. Yeah. I dare you to walk down the street at night by yourself in L.A., like that. New York, Detroit, go take a stroll down Kensington Ave for me. And the thought that the U.S isn't damn near world country you gotta be out of your mind because while countries in the west are in decline these so-called third world countries are developing you guys are just asleep that's really all it is hendrix the mainstream media has just gotta wrap around you bro make these videos out here to basically show you guys never what it seems all the western conveniences that you want so out here and in more. the eastern side of the world and, and i more. am not telling y'all to move out of your home country i respect if you love it in the west me it's all love but i think it is time to put some respect not just the philippines but all these southeast asian countries it's super nice but what do you say off to the trophy mall right let's go in our hot ride yes and i've been experiencing that since 2015, yes. I've been a long time past, but well, I'm an expat really. But I've been a long, I've been doing this for a long time, since 2015 out here. And I gotta tell you this, and I told it before, but when I first got here, and let me tell you what happened one day. I was in New York before all of the del delivery apps were out, and the only thing delivering was pizza and Chinese food. I came out here to the Philippines, McDonald's was delivering, KFC was delivering, Burger King was delivering. Everything you wanted was delivering by motorcycle. I fully seen how more convenient it is than even New York City. That's when I was blown away. I never looked at Philippines the same. And then it got better and better. When I came, it was a third world country. It was nothing like how it is now. Philippines is developing. It's not a third world. It's developing. And that's an example of it. As you see there, places are looking better. And more people want to stay here now. This fine rich. Well, that's okay. We don't have to find a rich guy. We just need a guy who will respect us, love us, and find value in marriage. It doesn't Ooh. have to be all about money. It doesn't Ooh. have to be about, you know, rich person. 
All you need is enough to live, is enough to survive. What? What is What? money if you don't have all the respect, the love, the compassion, the contentment? If the guy is just tall. So yeah, no, we don't need a rich guy. We just need a guy who treats us like queens. That's my girl. And your broke men will be just fine with us. So yeah, thanks anyway. <laughs> you heard that? Okay, this girl right here, what is she? She's Filipina. She's Filipina, exactly. And you, same thing, my wife knows about those stores. We've been in that same mall he was just in. Because that's in Manila. We've been living in Manila for nine years. Not nine years. I lived in the province for one year, but still, you get it. Eight years, seven years, whatever. I've been living in Manila for eight years. And my wife doesn't want that stuff. A woman like that doesn't even want it. They know what's there. Filipinas see it. This is at their grasp. They don't want it. You care about the, the, the money, they don't. And it shows right here. Sis, they're broke. She's trying to pick down passport bros to a Filipina. What is money if you are not treated properly? That's what she said. And this is exactly why guys are coming to places like the Philippines. Because we realize it's definitely more to life. Dealing with anything that's not that. See you next video.